Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters. And since we've been having ZBZs for the past few days, I thought it's only natural to go for a PVT straight off the bat. And this is another one taking from the Aces Team Story Cup, I think it was called. I don't have it right in front of me, but it does look like a very, very awesome game. And yes, so here introducing our players up the top right, we do have Innovation. He is from South Korea. He plays for Team Acer. And yes, it's a it's a very very nice coincidence that they got to the uh, <laughs> got to the grand finals. But no, no, I'm, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. But yes, it is very very awesome team. Team Acer and Innovation, one of their most awesome players. So he's actually number two in the WCS with like over six thousand points. It's completely insane. So down the bottom left side of the map. It is Alicia, and Alicia is from Team Axiom, and also from South Korea. And he's number 29 on the WCS with just over 2,000 points. So neither of these players slouches by any stretch of the imagination. And Alicia is a very, very, very crazy player. Very, very scary. And against 99% of the players out there, he would probably be heavily favoured. But against Innovation... Uh, I'm not sure. It's uh, it's gonna be down to the wire. I feel like I don't feel like innovation. I don't feel like innovation is gonna be able to just stomp Alicia, man. I mean, he's ranked higher in the WCS, and we have seen some insane games from innovation. But I don't feel like Alicia is just going to be uh, throwing in the towel or just going to be overwhelmed. I don't think innovation is going to outplay Alicia. That's what, what I'm trying to say. So, yes, it's going to come down to a very, very crazy game. We do have an expansion coming down for Innovation already. And this is actually a pretty good uh, pretty good play because he's got the opposite base. He's not straight to the side. So Alicia is almost certainly going to check one of the opposite sides when he does his scouting, which he's only just starting to do now, a little bit behind Innovation. But, no, he's not actually scouting here. He's going for his own natural expansion. Which is uh, it's not a bad move, but he really, really would like to get some scouting done. I mean, the, you need to uh, you need to see this sort of stuff. You need to see. All right, he's going for early stuff because the thing is, if Alicia goes for an early nexus right here, the three and a half minute mark, and then he finishes his scouting by about the five minute mark, and he's and when he gets here at the five minute mark, he sees there is no expansion at all. He is going to be in trouble because no expansion. At all, not even building, not even there, not even anything at the five minute mark. Means that Innovation probably has two or three barracks, or he may have factory staff or tech. There may be Banshees coming, there may be Hellions coming, there may be two or three barracks pumping out continual Marines. He may be looking at something like that coming out. And that's scary. I mean, you could assume that your opponent is building an expansion, and I mean, that's exactly what Innovation has done. He's built an expansion, but. Assuming is not the same as knowing and I mean these guys are professionals so they definitely will go for crazy stuff every now and then just to see how it works and you need to have that scouted you really really do so here we go the stalker coming out Alicia not doing any scouting at all though and I've got to be a little bit bewildered about this because I mean innovation could be doing something crazy I mean alright it's a fair assumption like 80-90% true that innovation already has an expansion that he's macroing up, he's just getting a few forces. Although he's sending five marines over anyway, so that's going to be a little bit annoying, but I mean, why wouldn't you just use one probe to check that out? It's one probe, send it out there, see the expansion, that's all you need to do, and it's well worth the cost of one probe for that peace of mind to know that your opponent has an expansion, is mining from it, and you don't have to be worried about anything really, really crazy. But here we go, we got a tech lamp coming down, no factory as of yet for innovation, so he's just looking at his economy right now and getting some early pressure out, but he's going to have to move into that factory tech soon because of course, uh, marines aren't that good without medevacs, and you need the medevacs in mid game, I mean early mid game you need the bloody medevacs man, because marines just start getting absolutely owned, you start getting a few zealots, you start getting zealot legs, and suddenly the marines just get destroyed by everything. So medevacs become a very, very important tool in the Terran army, man. Do have a factory coming down, as well as an NG bay. So everything's starting to look very, very well. We do have a Twilight Council coming out for Alicia. 
And that is going to be awesome as well. Oh, the probe. Boys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just do not know. We have a look. See, uh, Leash has scouted a lot. Uh, innovation, not so much. But, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to keep going on about that because I've been going on about that for like five minutes now. So, it is fine. I mean, if innovation hadn't gone for an early expansion, if he had gone for a lot of early pressure, at least he would have been stuffed by not uh, scouting that. But, yeah, he's is fine. He, he, he made an assumption that innovation was going for an expansion and innovation has not let him down, so he's fine. Even though he didn't scout, he's fine. So, we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll stop going on about it. Zealot League's coming out. Level 2 armor. Actually, armor going out. He's getting a lot of armor for his forces. I'm not sure. I suppose armor can be a good decision against Terran. So, let, let me explain that because Terrans, basically, they're Triple M. They use the Marines and they shoot fast. They stim up and they shoot very fast, but they don't do that much damage. So, it's like 5, 6 damage or something like that. They do it very, very fast. So, therefore, I mean, if you're facing a Thor, you're taking one big hit. It's like 25, boom, 25, boom. But with a Marine, it's like 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So, armor helps a lot more versus Marines because armor is not a percentage reduction. It's a static reduction. You get one more armor, you take one less damage from every hit. So, if you're getting hit by Marines, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, suddenly that's 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Um, which is a lot better than just 24 boom, 24 boom, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, the armor is definitely going to help him a lot more. However, I mean, slack it off on the damage. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really feel like a second Evo chamber and getting the damage out at the same time. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all, but he's got to be thinking about a third base right here. And Innovation, got a couple of medevacs, he's got a small force, but this small force can do quite a bit of damage. And, oh, Alicia's moving out with a high Templar. No storm on the map yet, but he's got a lot of forces here. This storm is, uh, it's pretty, there's another 20, 20 game seconds. So, yeah, by the time he goes in there, should be quite sweet. He's got two more high Templars. He's already got an Archon morphed in, I don't know why he did that, but, you know what, um, who knows. Anyway, he's going to be building a pile out there. He's going to be going in for the offensive. And these storms could surprise innovation quite badly. I'm not sure if he's expecting him. He sees the Archon, so he must know there's some sort of high tech. And he can probably guess or assume that high Templar tech is out there. Here we go. Storms on the Marine pack. Absolutely beautiful, doing a ton of damage. But with all these bunkers here, and with the forces still left over... It does seem like uh, Alicia is going to be pushed away for now, but he has sent in a couple of zealots here. This thing is going to have to lift off. And there we go, third base denied, but uh, that third base is already built, so he can just land whenever it wants. And Alicia is only just now building his own expansion, so innovation a little bit further ahead in terms of the economy. And he's going to push out that advantage now. He's just going to land that third base. He's going to start building workers. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. He's actually moving that back. Wow, I thought he would have just landed it. No, maybe. He probably doesn't want to land it until he's uh, convinced that he has enough to really deal with this, which he probably doesn't at the moment. Although, going up this ramp is uh, is not a very good idea at the moment. Oh, can he, can he get this into the red zone? Looks like he may. Nice storms going down. Almost in the red zone. There he goes. It is on fire. Beautiful, beautiful sub. Some storms keeping the marauders away. There's actually a ton of marauders trying to fly back. Innovation desperately wants to heal this up. Are we going to see some mules dropping down underneath it? Would not be surprised if we are. The Protoss not really getting much done. Here we go. The SCVs coming in. Do manage to save that. And both armies getting very, very bloodied right there. A lot of storms going down on the Marauders. But of course, Marauders can take that damage. So, there we go. And Alicia instantly building a robotic facility. He's probably thinking about Immortals at this point. Maybe Colossus, but definitely a couple of Immortals to deal with these guys. Um, because there's just so many Marauders here. I mean, look at this. 18 Marauders and 22. That's a very, very high ratio for Marauders. Usually you're talking about three, uh, three Marines per Marauder, but now it's about 1-1. One, one, and these guys are so beefy. They don't have a lot. They can really attack well. It's a good counter. And there's not a lot of Stalkers, but the Archons, man, I mean, slowing down the army is a very, very big thing for him. We do have the concussive shells, 
So stopping this army from getting in range of Innovation's own Triple M Force is a very, very big deal. And you got to remember that uh, Alicia, he has speed. But his main, his main damaging force, I feel like right now, is the Archons. And when you hit the Archons with concussive shells, it takes them ages to get in range. And by the time they get in range, they're so low on health that you just feel like pulling them out again. And Alicia has got to be frustrated by that. So great, great move there by Innovation. You saw what he was going against. And he decided, you know what? I'm going to go for a massive amount of Marauders. Because Slow is going to help me out a lot in this battle. And... I gotta, I gotta say, well done. That was an excellent decision, and it's really paying off because Alicia, with his heavy, heavy Archon tech, is just not, is not getting it done. They can't get in close enough. Of course, things are all gonna change when the Colossus start coming out because Colossus will completely negate that concussive shells tech from Innovation, and the Colossus will do a fairly good job of just shredding the Marauders as well. Not quite as good as the Marines, but the Marauders are going to go down. They will be. They will eventually get shredded by the Colossus. So that is a great play from Alicia to go for that stuff. And innovation, man. All he can really do is um, is go for Vikings. Let's try to make that work. We got some storms trying to go down. That storm landed a little bit better, but innovation does pull out of it. And you can see here, Alicia, man. He just cannot move in. And he can barely run away. The concussive shell's really, really stopping him from running every way. Just one hit. So this Archon's... He's, the Archon's not really sl slowing down, actually. Maybe concussive shells don't work on the Archon. I just do not know, actually. Can we have a look at this upgrade? Concussive shell. You just hit by the Marauder are temporarily slowed. It doesn't seem to be working on the Archons, man. I don't, don't know. Oh, they're actually trying to snipe the High Templar. Very, very nice job. Storm does go down, but... Look at this, man. The fact that these uh, guys are just not as effectual as they like to be, not able to get in nice and close, just jumping around a little bit, means that um, Alicia's force gradually got whittled down by running away. And now it is all over, man. Innovation with that beautiful Marauder play has turned it around. And Alicia, man, just making a run for it. And the fact that Innovation's macro is just so much better, I mean... I don't, I just do not know, I mean, Alicia may be spending a lot on tech it up, whereas uh, Innovation just went for low cost units, just the Marauders made him work, and he's just doing a beautiful job, he's got no Vikings, so, but this Colossus just, uh, Colossus doesn't have the range yet though, so it's, it's gonna have to get too close to start hitting these guys, it definitely needs the range, but with three Archons, two Archons now, sorry, oh no, there we go, the Colossus goes down, I was about to say Alicia might have held this off, Maybe he can still hold this off. But the Zealots trying, they're trying their very, very best, but... Oh man, I feel like Alicia is just uh, is not going to make this work. The Marauders doing such an excellent job of just shredding those guys, and look how many medevacs there are. I mean, half of them are destroyed, but still. Still, there we go. So, an Archon and a bunch of Zealots come out, but that is, that is it, man. I mean, if you're playing Terran and you're going against a ton of Archons... Marauders seem to be the way to go because you take out half their life before they even reach you because you slow them down so much. And here we go. It's one of those situations where if you've got the Archons, you have to go in full strength. You have to get your opponent back up against the wall. And that's it. If your opponent's back is not up against the wall, then you are just going to lose a ton of units. It's like running into him with Zealous without legs, man. They're just going to stim and kite your ass all over the map. And it's just not worth it, man. It's really not worth it. Here he goes. Oh, he's going to try and run in. And the yeah, um, yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's absolutely beautiful. The Zealot's trying to do something. But Alicia deciding to give the GG right there and leave this game. So congratulations to Innovation. I really, really love that Marauder play in that game. It just worked so well. It was so beautiful. So anyway, that has been our Daily Masters for today. Congratulations to Innovation for winning that game. And I will catch you guys tomorrow with another Daily Masters. Stay tuned. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game.